Hey Greg, DIY RVing Home, Camper's Life. Today, I'm going to do some hacking on that uh, Furion 10 amp uh, solar plug on the side of our trailer. Um, I don't like the fact that it's limited to 10 amps. Um, I want to put, you know, a little bit more on the ground if I want to. So, here what I'm doing is I've just taken the screws out and this was just silicone uh, sealed to the trailer. So, I just took my fingers and just kind of pried underneath. That way I wasn't damaging my siding. Um, and now I'm just going to fish those wires out, pull them out, and see what's going on inside. Figuring out what I'm going to do. Now the wires that go to it are capable of handling over 10 amps. Uh, it's just that Furion has uh, set the connectors up and rated it at uh, 10 amps. Now as you saw right there, I had a MPW... Uh, excuse me, PMW charge controller in my hand and I'm setting them in a location. Now, I've, that came in a kit uh, last year when I put a set of uh, solar on the top of the roof. I've since then changed that to an MPPT charge controller uh, for the roof and instead of tossing this PWM charge controller, I decided to in integrate it into uh, the trailer that way I don't have to worry about having a charge controller on my solar panels outside on the ground it'll be inside and I can just plug right in and I got some uh, panels you'll see in the end um, that I'm using so here I'm just cutting that sucker off getting it ready I'm going to take that in the shop in a few minutes but first of all I'm going to go ahead and get these wires prepped right here What I'm doing here is I'm actually taking and stripping the ends off, and I'm going to put some ferrule connectors on, which is, excuse me, ferrule ends, and put those in. That's going to keep those wires uh, nice and tight inside the connector. Uh, there is a video above linking to uh, me uh, working with those. And also the reason why I'm doing that and getting that uh, wired in first is because you want to make sure the battery is always connected first before you connect your solar panel to your charge controller so you don't mess it up. So here is that plug that we're going to be modifying. And what I'm going to do is take and I'm going to remove that connector portion right there all the way down to that uh, flat piece of plastic in the back. First of all, I've gone and taken my Dremel and cut off the locking tabs for that plug, remove that, and now in a drill press I'm going to be using a Forstner bit and just kind of come down and remove that connector until it's nice and flush. And on the back I've cut the, the rest of those tabs off and as you can see this is an Anderson style power pole connector and it kind of fits real nice in that uh, section right there so it gave me a good reference to where I wanted to trim out using a drill in the drill press I kind of wobbled that out got it to a nice fit a little bit of filing and you can see how it it's going to plug in make sure it's set up properly that I've got enough where when I plug it in it's not going to be loose it's going to be a full good connection and now I'm taking some JB plastic weld and uh, gluing that power pole connector onto the uh, Furion plug housing. Now, I'm not going to show you building the uh, crimping the wires for this uh, power pole. If you like, there's a link just above to uh, me doing uh, some connections and with those. But now I'm just uh, <clears throat> finishing getting it up. I did a little bit on the inside also, being very cautious not to get it. Uh, in a spot where it was going to interfere with the connector itself as we connected the other one together. Here we go. There's the wires connected on the back of it. We're going to go ahead and get that fed in to where it goes. Now, I did take and use my multimeter uh, once I got it in place to identify the positive side of the cable. And as you'll see in a little bit, um, I went ahead and put some red shrink tube on that uh, cable. That way I knew which one was which. 
but yeah right now I'm just uh, getting that fed in there right through that same hole and to seal it back up I'm going to use some Proflex RV sealant uh, this is silicone uh, this is uh, designed for RVs um, don't use just your uh, uh, hardware store style it's not exactly designed for this application um, just went around the um, hole that they'd cut uh, initially for the plug and then I put a dab on each one of the uh, holes where the screws go in. Once I got that done, came down and uh, trimmed my wires up to size, put some more ferrule ends on it and as you see right here, that's where I was talking about putting that red shrink tube on there so that I can identify the positive. Now on my trailer specifically, uh, the purple that was going to the plug originally was the positive side of it and most times 99.9% .9 of the time white is going to be your ground side um, in your trailer I say 99.9 .9 because there's always a chance it could be something different uh, so be careful always to have a multimeter when you're testing this stuff as you can see I've got it in place plugged in and as you can see we are pulling uh, power from the solar <coughs> panels now here's the cord that I uh, built so I can plug that into the wall there to charge off those solar panels that uh, I'm using hope this uh, video uh, helped inspire you to uh, make use of that outside Furion plug whether it be you use it regular or you hack it like I did if this video helped you, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And until the next time, happy camping.